Hey guys, I'm coming to you with a little bit of a rant. And yesterday I was out working in the garden and I heard what sounded like a dirt bike. It turned out it was. And I didn't think nothing of it because there's property on one side. There's a dirt road across the front and then there's property on the other side. So technically we have two neighbors. The one property is empty because he's trying to sell it. And, um, ooh, bugs, bugs, bugs. Anyway, so I'm listening and then I see it gets louder. Not real loud, so it wasn't a big dirt bike. It was a small one. And then I'm back there, but I see red going through my trees. Some way, somehow, a guy on a dirt bike came through my property. We got signs posted and he still came through. We're not sure how he got through because you can see everything's very thick, but I definite, definitely saw him come through. And then he went in through one of these trails here. I'm not sure how he got through here either because I tried to follow him. I was going to give him what for. I was just furious. And you see how close he is to our, prop our house. But this property is all ours. All the way up to there is ours. To the edge of these trees is ours. And like I said, it is posted. This was one person on a dirt bike. Now, what I don't understand is when he got so far into here, he got into the swamp area. I'm not sure how he got out. He didn't come back through this way because I was waiting for him. <laughs> I can't even tell you how furious I was. I felt violated. And here's some of my reasoning. What if my grandson had been here and here comes a guy flying through my property on a motorcycle? My dogs were in the house. Luckily, what if they had been outside? They would have followed him. I could have lost my dogs through that. And then, you know, I don't know. Is it a guy carrying a gun to, you know, in case he has a dog chase him? I don't know. And then my other thought is, what if I had been free ranging my goats and he had come through? Or even if I had my Premier One fencing set up and he had come through and run into it. There's so much, I was just boiling. And you know, it's another, privacy is the other part of it. You know, we have an outside shower, so we're exposed, but we trust that on our own property, as thick as the growth is, that we're safe and secure when we're showering. And it, now that doesn't bother my husband, but it sure did bother me when I thought about it. You know, it's like, you got to wonder, one, who taught these people that they're allowed to run roughshod over somebody else's property? I'm trying to keep my forest in a pristine, natural forest as much as possible. And then I got some stupid person riding a motorcycle through it. I can't even tell you how furious I am. Yesterday, I was just livid. My blood pressure was up. I was just so furious. Um, if I could, if I catch them, I will be calling the police and I will be filing charges of, and trespass them because there are rules and regulations for dirt biking. And the number one rule is you stay off of private property. So that's one of the things. Because, you know, the, the guy crossed right here, guys. Right here. Right here. Because I could see him go through these trees. And he had red on his outfit. My plan is to fence this area in and let the goats chew this down. And then we're going to work on this brush here. So they wouldn't have been that far from him if I had already had my fencing. So it's like crazy. But yeah, I felt really, really upset. I just heard a car go down. I'm listening. It's like every time I hear something now, I'm listening. I don't know. Um, any advice y'all have? I'd appreciate it. I don't know for sure where this person lives or where he's from. 
I have a suspicion he's my new neighbor's kid over here. But if he is, he's going to have what for, and I'm going to let his daddy know. You know, we're good neighbors. We're not going to come riding on your property, and we don't want you riding on ours. So that's kind of my rant for now. You know, we're back here for peace and quiet. The last thing I want to hear is somebody dirt biking through my and through my property. Take your dirt bike on you. They got 29 acres back there if it's them with an attached 40 on the other side that they can access. If that's not enough land to ride dirt bike on, then there's something wrong with them. Because I know the guy on this side here, his land's up for sale, but there's dirt road on it, so they could be riding that. All right, I'm done ranting. It's probably gonna take me a while to get over this. And if I catch him again, I'll be off on a tangent again. So, all right guys, God bless. Any advice on stopping the dirt bikers, let me know. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye.